Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. First up, apologies for not putting a Midweek 180 out last week, but I decided to have some time off and just lie by the pool in the sunshine and recover from my Ironman. But I am at home again this week. I got a really busy week this week. Lots and lots of filming, lots of editing, lots of admin. But if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring in my news views and information about upcoming reviews all filmed in one take. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Now then, last week's leader of the pack was Malcolm Brew. Well done, sir. Joined in the Magnificent Seven by Jake Warren, Leanne Jackson, Rod Matheson, Paul Mead, Michael Houghton and Michael Kember. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first seven comments will be in my Magnificent Seven. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Andy Hopton, who was actually on a drive when the Midweek 180 dropped, driving on the A685 between Kickby Stephen and T-Bay. That's a lovely part of the world to be driving in T-Bay services, the best service station in the UK, full stop. <laughs> but wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Last week's question was, um, if you were crossing the English Channel, would you go on the tunnel or would you take a ferry? There was lots of love for the tunnel. My only comment about the tunnel is it's just becoming so expensive. Actually, the ferry starts to look like an attractive option because it's so much cheaper. But I am a big tunnel fan. Um, and then this week's question, I just wanted to know what the uh, pothole situation is like where you live. Because round our way, it is dire. There's some absolute car eaters out there. And I can't see the situation getting any better. And it's only when you go abroad, like when I was on tour the other week in Germany, you realize how good their roads are. But what are the potholes like where you live? Uh, Formula One news. Um, it has been literally announced, um, I'm filming this Wednesday morning, just about half an hour ago, that the Emilia Romana Grand Prix this weekend has been called off due to major flooding. Rumor has it that that's been caused by Max Verstappen crying about people driving their car too close to him and basically pushing him into corners. Um, but yeah, no F1 this week, gutted to be fair. Um, wanted to just mention my Ironman. Um, I've been blown away by everybody's love and support and the comments across all my different social platforms. But as we stand today, we have raised, including gift aid, which is quite important, £6,546. I am utterly blown away by that number. It makes me very emotional. The Born Free Foundation are very, very grateful. I've had uh, lots of senior people from Born Free reach out to me and thank me. Um, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that you've given me. That number is way beyond my wildest dreams when I started this project off. I thought if I got a couple of grand, I'd be really, really grateful. Uh, there is unfinished business in the whole Iron Man thing. I will be doing another one, but probably next year. Uh, very briefly, this is from the little car company. This is the coolest thing ever. This is basically a full-size Tamiya Wild one. If you are my age, it's probably the first remote control car you ever wanted. They're making a hundred of them. There's even a road legal option. They're electric powered. They only do 60 miles an hour, but just the coolest car ever. I need one of those in my life. And then this Friday at six, I finally got round to filming my ownership video for the Nissan Aria. <laughs> Actually done it. So that will be out on Friday. And I know it's a long time coming. There you go. I fitted it all in. Everyone's like, you never fit it in. You never get it in. Why did you do midweek 180? Call it a midweek 360 or something. Fit it all in this week. Um, but yes, I've had the uh, Nissan Aria just over six weeks. <laughs> So I did the collection video and then I was so busy on the lead up to my Iron Man and with the launch of the podcast. Podcast is still going amazingly, by the way. Uh, uh, the podcast charts for Apple came out this morning. We are still number four in UK leisure automotive podcasts, which is just mega. Again, huge amounts of love and support for the podcast. So thank you very much for that. But that's it. Pretty busy. As I said, I've, I've had a busy week this week. I have filmed this week an update on Project PP. That will be coming out next week. And I've got a very cool car I'm driving on Friday of this week, which will probably drop next week as well. But yeah, very busy. Um, but anyway, um, I'm waffling. <laughs> I shall love you and leave you. But if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And for all of you who sponsored me for my Ironman, thank you. I honestly, I am, uh, I am just blown away and I 
feel very emotional when I think that we have together raised six and a half thousand pounds for Born Free. It puts all the pain and misery I went through last Sunday all into perspective. It's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. But I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.